just going to be about uh, going through the mods that I currently am subscribed to. Um, I reserve the right to change uh, this at any time, but just to give you an idea of the mods that I currently have, uh, certainly for the past several episodes, the pro probably the past uh, eight episodes or so, with the exception of maybe one or two assets, but these are just the mods. So I wanted to go through them real quick with you guys. We have the 81 Tiles mod. That allows me to use all 81 tiles on the map. Um, you still have to purchase them, but uh, it, it is still um, uh, there. We got the auto line color. That just changes the color of when you add a transportation line, and you've seen the effects of that in my game. Um, cloud and tog fogler so that I don't get too much cloud uh, interference when I'm zoomed out. I just don't like that too much. Um, the enhanced garbage and hearse AI respectively, both of those, that just allows um, the garbage trucks and the hearses to work better. They're going to go basically to the most urgent places first instead of just the closest places first. Um, so if there's a place that says I'm without trash and is blinking the red icon, uh, the trash truck is going to go to that uh, blinking red icon first before it just goes and picks up trash from the closest place. Um, and, and same thing with the hearses. Um, extra landscaping tools just provides map editor tools in game and you've seen me use those specifically with uh, creating my, my farming area. Um, you get the extra train station tracks. Hmm, I don't have that. Uh, never mind. You get to find it and you've seen me use that when we're, we're looking for our assets to, to, to put down manually. You got your Find Road Anarchy. Um, that is one of the tools that I use to be able to create the realistic looking roads, or at least more realistic looking. Get your Find Road tool, and that is another uh, mod that uh, goes along those lines. Um, first person camera, where you press tab to be able to go into first person mode, and you've seen me do that a couple times as well, if you've been watching my, my Let's Play. Um, more city beautification enables prop placements in game um, by Bloody Penguin here, who does a, uh, a lot of stuff now. Uh, this one doesn't seem to work as well as it used to. I think Industries has uh, created some glitches with it. Um, this is the Move It mod, and obviously you see me use that all the stinking time. If there's only one mod you get, it should be the Movement, though. The Movement mod is only... Uh, my favorite when you combine it with these two mods as well. So you want the move it mod. You need the network extensions to get some of the roads that I'm using. Um, and so it just it just basically adds roads. And these guys have been working uh, on that kind of stuff since um, SimCity 4 to give you an idea of how long. And, and they've done a great job there uh, as well. Uh, no purple uh, ground. Um, so that even when I have pollution, I don't need to see purple ground. It looks ugly. It doesn't look realistic. And so that takes that off. Um, no radioactive desert and more. Uh, that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, pedestrian crossing. Oh, uh, and to be clear, um, it makes trees lush green no matter how much pollution is there. Also, it, 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 I believe this is the mod that allows it to where even though my trees have burned down, essentially, um, they, they, look, they don't look like it because, um, honestly, I, I don't... That, that's an aspect of the game that's great for gameplay, so to speak, but it's not great for making a great-looking city, which is really what I'm more concerned with. Right, so um, we have the pedestrian crossings here that allows me to just add pedestrian crossings uh, as I see fit. Um, we have the ploppable Rico, allows plopping of Rico buildings, and obviously you've seen me do that. Um, prop and tree anarchy, I don't use that a lot, but um, it, it is something that, that I, A, I think it's been a bit glitchy. Um, and maybe I, we should go into the unhide all props on level loading, unhide all trees on level loading. Anarchy always on, anarchy on, yeah, so. Um, yeah, I don't need to mess with those settings, but... Um, I don't use this a heck of a lot, but there are times when you will want it on. 
Um, Quay Anarchy allows you to do like that one wall that I did in the suburban area. Um, Quay Anarchy allows you to do that. Um, oh, um, Segment Slope Smoother. Um, I need to turn that on. I want to use that. And so that allows you to um, create smooth slopes um, along uh, whatever it is that you're doing. And so, oh, I'm going to have fun now that I know that it basically one of my problems was it wasn't turned on that mod. Um, let's go ahead and go to show it as well. And let's turn that on. Um, I haven't used that yet, so we'll see. Let's, what are the options? Alignment, right, background, sprite, generic panel. That's fine. Opacity, mostly on. Chart help text. Yeah, yeah okay. That all looks great. All right. So we'll see what that looks like when we get back into the game. Uh, I start with a million dollars, again, because I'm trying to make more realistic cities rather than have... Um, the gameplay aspect of it, it's more of the simulation aspect that I enjoy, um, particularly for doing these, um, excuse me, particularly for doing these videos with you guys. I think uh, at some point I am going to do a series where I go back to basically vanilla, particularly since we have so many people on PS4 and, play, uh, and Xbox and Switch, um, and we'll do a video series where we're basically we're at vanilla and we're having to do it the hard way um we got the surface painter which just allows you to change the terrain surface uh, you got the toggle traffic lights uh, mod um that really is uh, uh unnecessary now that we have the traffic manager president edition i had added this long before i had added that but what i would say is that um, I leave it on there because sometimes it's easier to get to than going through the traffic manager. Traffic manager obviously is something I use extensively. That's how I control what lanes um, people are able to turn on to uh, at an intersection. It allows me to control the speed limits. It allows me to control pretty much any aspect of um, the traffic that I want. Uh, this allows you to control that. And so um, that is a highly recommended mod. If you're not going to get all the mods that I have here, um, this one's highly recommended. That being said, it is um, hard on a computer, so you, you need to have some decent specs to my understanding. Um, we need to turn this on. I had uh, downloaded it, but it basically makes uh, a, fi a fix for some assets in the game. Um, unlimited money, I don't ever use that. To me, that's just it's just not fun. But I do use unlimited oil, ore, and soil. Um, as well as unlock all. Um, I've unlocked all things the hard way, um, but as you go on, sometimes if you've got to reload the, the game onto a, your computer or you go onto a new computer, uh, it's going to make you reset all that. And um, the last time I actually unlocked everything was on a different computer, so I, I didn't want to have to do that again, so I just put that on. This is just for the ease of, you know, I'll, I'm going to put the resources where I want them anyway. I don't want to have to be reworking that and moving that uh, down the line. I mean, we already, you already saw me do that once for different reasons. And that, honestly, it wasn't a pleasant experience. It was kind of tedious. So um, there's unlimited soil here, so I can do all the landscaping I want. I want to make the city the way I want it. And this goes hand in hand with that as far as uh, what it is. Um, this one is a mod, that one, uh, was an update to the game from the developers. I don't know which one does which, but you know, uh, I just leave them both on. So those are my mods, guys. Uh, hope uh, this was helpful to you. Um, let me know uh, if if there is there a mod out there that I should be using that I'm not, or is there one that you think I shouldn't be using and why? Um, anyway, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.